Good evening. Good evening, Stephanie. Good evening. How are you? Oh, super good, and you? Excellent, I'm doing pretty well. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice. Good evening, William Figueroa. Good evening, William. So, good evening, Daniel Ocampo. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks, and you? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. It's nice to meet oh. you. Nice to meet you too. Great. Um, good evening, Kelly Sarabia. Good evening. How are you? I am fine, and you? I'm well, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Good evening, Mercedes Rivas. Good evening. How are you? I'm good fine. evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rafael. How are you? Hi, teacher. Excellent. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. So let's see, William Figueroa, can you hear me now? Maybe not. Good evening, Karen Zavala. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Great. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Hi, William, how are you? Fine, thank you, and you? Great, thanks. Okay. Yes, I have a problem. I have a problem the, in, in the audio. Oh, with the audio, okay. Okay, entonces, por si no puedo expresarme o, o si me oye trabado es por eso. All right, I got it. Thanks for telling me. Thanks. Good evening, Stephanie. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Great. It's nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> oh, really? Why? What happened? Me duele un poquito la cabeza, no saber cómo decir. You have a headache. That's so bad. Good evening, Edwin Castro. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Excellent. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Okay, teacher. All right, um, so I think I haven't said hi to Jimena. Jimena Ayala, creo que no la he saludado, ¿verdad? Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Great, I'm glad to hear that. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
Thank you. All right, so um, let's see, maybe we can start right now. Let me just get my presentation. So welcome everybody. This is uh, a class for the pre-intermediate module number two. Estamos en el nivel de intermedio módulo número dos. So first of all, let me introduce myself. I'm your new facilitator. My name is Liliana Mendoza Axume. You could also call me Miss Lily if you'd like to, or Miss Liliana, teacher Liliana is fine with me. And well, about my specialty, I'm a BA in teaching English as a second language. And I have around five years of experience. I have been teaching in different places, different levels, different ages too. So it's very nice to be here with you. And uh, well, I hope everybody gets the chance to learn a bit in this course. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the class requirements. Um, so I'll ask you to please tell me if there's anything you don't understand. Si de pronto hay algo que no me estén comprendiendo, me dicen por favor para repetir o incluso puede pedirme que hable en español, no hay ningún problema, yo le explico. Eh, solo que me lo digan, ¿verdad? Por favor. So the class requirements. So remember that, um, first of all, you have to register in each of the classes, in each of the sessions using your full name. Tenemos que registrarnos en cada una de las clases utilizando el nombre completo porque se nos da la situación que a veces tenemos alumnos que tienen el mismo nombre y el mismo apellido. Entonces, al coincidir, pues no tenemos otra forma de, de identific identificarlos o diferenciarlos más que con el nombre completo. Por favor, les pido que tengamos cuidado con, esa, con ese detalle. And also remember that if, if by any chance you need to change your name, you can go to participants and then you get to the option that says more or más. And it says um, rename. Then you get the option rename and you change your name. Si por alguna razón necesitáramos cambiar el nombre con el que nos hemos registrado, porque pasa que a veces nos conectamos y se registra el nombre del teléfono o tal vez tenemos alguna otra cuenta abierta en Zoom, hay que buscar los participantes, buscamos nuestro nombre, le damos clic en la opción donde dice más y ahí nos va a salir Otra opción que dice eh, renombrar o cambiar nombre, ahí podemos perfectamente modificar eso. Then, uh, remember about the use of microphone and video camera. So, uh, first of all, with the microphone, remember to turn it off at the times when you are not participating. Um, that is because of the feedback, back, uh, the feedback sound or the background sound. And about the video camera, I'll ask you to please do your best to have it on. Les pido por favor que la cámara la tengamos encendida en la medida de lo posible. Si de pronto por alguna razón usted no tiene video cámara, no le sirve, o tal vez no estamos en el lugar más adecuado, está bien. Pero si podemos, sí les agradecería que la encendamos. Porque de esa forma, pues ya la interacción sería un poquito más directa. Nos podemos ver, podemos eh, incluso ver reacciones y todo eso. Así que eh, hace que mejore un poquito la interacción, ¿verdad? Con el micrófono sí les pido mantenerlo apagado en los momentos en que no estamos participando. Porque recordemos que a veces la conexión nos genera eh, ruido, ¿verdad? Eh, nos genera ahí feedback, entonces hay que tener mucho cuidado con ese detalle. And the next one, well, about the class videos, remember that um, ne the next day after the class, we have the videos in YouTube. So if by any chance you miss one of the classes, you could always see the video the next day. Si por alguna razón se pierde alguna de las sesiones y de Pronto necesita repasar lo que vimos en esa clase. 
Eh, puede buscar los videos en la lista de reproducción de YouTube de la que ya le hemos dado el link. O en todo caso me lo puede pedir ahí en un mensajito y yo se lo mando para que puedan tener acceso a las clases que, en las que no pueden estar en el momento. Then um, let's talk about the registration in the English Corporativo platform. So I would like to know if you all have um, registered in the platform. Me gustaría saber si todos se han registrado en plataforma. Let's see, Rafael Flores. Yes, teacher. Okay, you're registered. Have you been working on it? ¿Ya empezó a trabajar? No, aún no. Not yet. Okay. But you are good with the registration and everything. Okay, how about Sergio Esaú? Hello, Sergio. Have you registered in the platform? Sorry, Sergio, I cannot hear you. Lola. Now I can yes, hear you. So you registered. Okay. Yes. Very well. Edwin Castro, have you registered in the platform? Yes, teacher. Ya comencé a, a trabajar, pero no pensé que había que registrarse porque solo me mandaron el, el vínculo, ¿verdad? Donde están mm -hmm. todas las secciones, pero, pero ah. o sea, automáticamente. No, no, okay. no sabía si... Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Sí, a eso me refiero, que si pudieron entrar a la plataforma, ¿ok? So you're good. Ok. All right. And Stephanie, have you been able to get in the platform? Stephanie Alexandra? Yes, yes. No, no. Not yet. Um, no ha intentado... ¿O ha tenido algún problema? Ya ingresé, no, ya ingresé, pero no he trabajado en ella. Ah, ok, pero ya se registró, entonces está todo bien. Sí. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. And Stephanie Pozuelo. Yes, teacher. Have you been able to enter to the platform? Yes, but I know where in the platform. Ok. That's right. Thank you. Mercedes Rivas, have you registered in the platform? Yo me registré, pero me daba error, me decían que me habían bloqueado de la cuenta. Y que escribí un correo electrónico para activarla, pero no lo recibí. Entonces no pude inscribir porque al parecer se bloqueó la cuenta, porque yo puse... Mi, mi correo y la contraseña 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh -huh. pero no, no pudo ingresar. Bueno, entonces, pero si ya mandamos el correo, espero que mañana eh, los técnicos se, se pongan en contacto con usted. Si eso no pasara, le agradecería que me mandara un mensajito ahí, tal vez en el grupo de WhatsApp o personalmente al mío, para que yo pueda gestionar, oiga. Thank you, Mercedes. Um, Kelly Sarabia, have you been able to register in the platform? Yes, teacher. Uh, I have a problem with the camera because I don't uh, uh, project it. Oh, okay. All right, don't worry. It's fine. Okay. Luciano Adalberto, have you been able to enter to the platform? Hi, teacher. Uh, yes, I really enter the platform. Okay, that's yeah. nice. And Daniel Ocampo. Eh, no, no me he registrado todavía porque pens pensé que se podía entrar, o sea, sin registrarse porque yo estuve aquí lo pasa y ahí me registré. Ok, eh, sí, me refiero a que si sí han podido ingresar, ¿verdad? Porque ya les han dado sus credenciales de correo electrónico y también su, su contraseña, entonces no sé si ha probado entrar para ver que tengamos acceso y todo esté bien. 
para serle honesto, no he podido. Uh, voy a intentar después de la clase. Ok, perfect. William Figueroa, how about you? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. You're having trouble with the platform? What happened? No, no, no. No tengo problema. Ah, no tiene problemas. Okay. All right. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Karen Zavala, have you been able to enter to the platform? Not yet, teacher, but as soon as they finish the class, I try to register. Excellent. Karina Gomez, have you been able to enter to the platform? Yes, teacher. All right, that's nice. Osvaldo, how about you? Oh, hello, teacher. Um, yes, I have access to the platform. It's okay. All right, very good. Sergio Eduardo. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Have you been? Yes, I. To... Yes, I can. Today I have been checking the uh, contenido. Okay. Don't have problems. Okay. All right, that's nice. And Astrid Jimena, have you been able to enter to the platform? Yes, I did. Okay, nice, thank you. Okay, so I think we're all right. If by any chance you have a, a problem with that, um, just go into the group in WhatsApp and then you look for the contact of Jason or Jonathan. En cualquier caso, si hay algún problema con, la, con el registro en plataforma o con el ingreso a la plataforma, podemos reportárselo a Jonathan o a Jason, que están también en nuestro grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí pueden ver el contacto. And then let me just tell you about um, the, the work in the platform. Remember that you have to do your best to complete the lessons in the platform because um, the approval of this course depends on that. So remember, it's important to come to the classes. It's important to practice a lot, but we're going to grade you according to the work you do in the platform. So um, let me just remind you about the sections. We got five sections and we have four weeks of classes. So in the first two weeks, we are going to develop section one, two, and three. So that means that by next week on, well, next Friday, we're going to be here in the midterm test or in the midterm exam. So remember, we got this week and next week to work sections one, two, and three. Then we are going to get week number three to work in section four. And week number four is to work in section number five. If you have time to complete the work before the date, it's better, okay? So please just keep on working, work as much as you can. And remember, it's important to complete the work in the platform in at least the 80%, okay? And also about the dates of the classes. We normally have classes from Monday to Thursday. Normalmente tenemos clase de lunes a jueves. Pero en este caso, porque hemos iniciado curso eh, día miércoles, nos quedan pendientes dos clases, ¿verdad? Que serían las correspondientes al lunes y al martes de esta semana. Para reponerlas, vamos a tener que reunirnos dos viernes, que serían este viernes 25, no, perdón, 27. Este viernes 27 y el próximo viernes 4 de diciembre. De modo que tenemos esta semana, todo lo que resta de la semana, tenemos clase. Y la próxima semana tendríamos conferencia los cinco días, de lunes a viernes. Después de eso nos quedamos con las conferencias de lunes a jueves siempre. And um, let's see, the deadline or the end date of this course is December the 17th. El curso estaría terminando el 17 de diciembre. 
hay que tenerlo en mente. Recordemos que en la plataforma varía un poquito la fecha. Acá tenemos marcado para el 26 de diciembre. Eso es por cuestiones administrativas. Luego eh, se quedan los administrativos pasando notas, revisando trabajo y todo eso. Es por eso que se ha dejado la fecha hasta el 26, pero en realidad el curso termina el 17. So please keep that in mind. Do we have any questions, any doubts? We're all right. Okay, so let's start by practicing a little conversation. Let me just get it. So this is a short conversation where we are going to listen about the, the adverbs of frequency. So let's pay attention to it. We're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, so please take a look at the conversation and tell me if you have any questions about the vocabulary or the, or the pronunciation of any of the words. Do we have questions? How is the pronunciation of Harley? Hardly, hardly. Ha ha hardly, Gone. hardly ever. Hardly? Hardly ever. Hardly okay. ever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? No more? Okay. So how about we repeat the conversation? Please repeat after me. You're really fit, Paul. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early. Get up. Repeat, please. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay, so let's say it again. Well, I almost always get up early. Well, I almost always get up early. And I live ways for an hour. And I live ways for an hour. Seriously? 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 Sure. 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 And, then, sure. and then I often go in like skating. And then, and then I, I often go, go in like skating. skating. Whoa. Wow. How, wow. Often, wow. how often do you exercise like that? How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. About five times a week. What about you? About you. Oh, I hardly ever exercise. Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. I guess I am a real couch potato. 
Okay, do you understand the meaning of this uh, phrase, coach potato? Coach potato. Coach potato. Do you understand the meaning of it? Entendemos no, el teacher, significado? Porque, no, no, porque, porque dice coach potato. All right, so it explains that um, she doesn't really do exercise or any um, physical activity, right? She says she stays um, watching TV all the time. So that is why we call her a coach, a couch potato. So that is a person that doesn't do exercise, stays all the time just um, laying and watching TV, maybe watching movies and eating a lot. That's a couch potato, okay? Oh, no, don't take it literal, okay? Um, no, esa sería una frase o un dicho, digamos, um, la redundancia, para llamar a una persona que no tiene actividad física, que se la pasa en el sillón, viendo televisión, tal vez comiendo um, snacks and drinking soda and stuff like that. So that is somebody who's not really healthy, right? Who's not really active. Okay. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Y sí, el significado eh, literal sería couch, que es eh, sillón, en potato de papa, ¿verdad? Pero en sí la frase significa lo que les acabo de explicar, ¿ok? Okay, teacher. All right. Any other questions? No more questions. So how about we get two volunteers to read the conversation? Let's see. Stephanie Pozuelo and me, teacher. That is. Sorry, can you say your name, please? Karina. Karina. Okay, Karina, you start. You're really fitful. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I leave wait for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I I often go and lie skating. Whoa. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a really couch potato. Okay, thank you, girls. Do we have a second pair to read the conversation? Rafael. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, so Rafael and Gladys. Go ahead, Gladys. Okay. You really fit so cold? Do you, do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get, get up early and I leave wait for a horse. Surely? Sure. And then I often go and lie skating. Wow. How often do you ex exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever ex exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a a real coach potato. Okay, thank you, Gladys and Rafael. And we have time for one more pair. Do I have any volunteers? William. Anybody? William and... Me? Um, who's that? Sorry. Can you say your name, please? Mercedes. Mercedes. Okay, Mercedes, you start. 
you really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I must always get up early and I leave wait for an hour. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Seriously? Seriously? Sure. And then I often and I of, I often go in, in line skating. Wow, how often do you exercise exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am really coach potato. Okay, thank you. Now I need you to repeat your... 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 Yeah. Really? Really. Really. really, really, exercise, exercise, exercise. exercise. A, lot. A, lot. a lot, almost, 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 almost. almost. Always. Always. always, always, get up. Get, get, up. Up. get up. Early. 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 Lift. 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 Wait. Lift. Wait. 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 An hour. An hour. hour. An, An hour. hour. An hour. hour. Seriously? Seriously? Sure. 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 Often. 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 Inline skating. Inline, Inline skating. skating. Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. Usually. Ever. Usually. 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 Just. 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 Real. 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 real couch potato. Couch, couch potato. potato. A real couch potato. I'm um, real, real couch, couch potato. potato. I am real, real couch potato. Okay, just um, make the difference between these two. We got really and real. Repeat, please. Really. 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 Real. 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 Okay, very well. So, um, well, as you heard, today's present objective is by the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. So what do we have for the adverbs of frequency? And let me go back to the platform. And here we have the the By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. 
So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest, or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay, so there we have the explanation of the adverbs of frequency. So when do we use them? We use them to indicate um, how often we do something, right? We use them to indicate the frequency with which we do some kind of activity. And then we got this scale from 100% of the time to 0% of the time. So the very first one we have is always to indicate that we do something all the time, right? Always. After that one, we got usually, that would be like a 90%, we could say maybe 90%, 95 or so. It's not always, but it's close to always. And in between, we could also place um, almost always, right? Then we got normally and generally. Next ones are often and frequently. Then we have sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever and rarely, and never, right? Never would be the opposite to always. Okay, now let's practice pronunciation. Please repeat, always. 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 Usually. 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 Normally. 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 Generally. 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 Often. Often. Frequently. Frequently. Sometimes. 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 Occasionally. Occasionally. Seldom. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. ever. Rarely. 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 Never. 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 Okay, and then how to make questions using the adverbs of frequency. So it's pretty easy. We use them in the present, well, together with the present simple. So we can make sentences like, I always watch TV at night. I always watch TV at night. Or let's see, can you give me an example using usually? Let's change the subject to we. We usually. Mm -hmm. What can we say? We usually go to the park. Go to the park, okay. We usually go to the park, thank you. Let's make another one using normally or generally. Let's use the subject she. She normally. Take a shower in the night. Takes a shower at night. Okay. Takes a shower at night. All right, another one. Using often, let's say they, they often. Mm 
Any ideas? Watch TV. Watch TV, okay. Thank you. Another one using sometimes. What can we say? Let's use the sometimes. Sometime. Okay. Exercise before sleeping. Exercise before sleeping. Okay. Thank you. Tell me another one using occasionally. And we use the subject he. He occasionally. He occasionally helps his mother. Helps his mother. Very good. Now let's make one using seldom. We seldom. We seldom drink coffee. Drink coffee. Nice. And another one using hardly ever or rarely. They hardly ever. What can we say? Visit a dentist. Visit the dentist. Oh. All right. And another one using never. Let's say you never. What is it? Said that. Sorry, I couldn't get it. Eh, said, decir la verdad. Said the oh, truth. Say the truth. Ah, say. The truth. How is this? Okay. So there you have it. As you see, we always use the adverbs of frequency after the subject, right after the subject. I always, we usually, she normally, they often, I sometimes, he occasionally, we seldom, they hardly ever, you never. And then after the adverb of frequency, we add the verb. And pay attention to this detail. Remember that we are using the simple present. Therefore, we need to change the third person verbs. So we say, I always watch, but I say she normally takes. You see how we add S to the verb, right? Because we're talking about the subject, she. That's a third person. So please keep that in mind. And the same happens for he. He occasionally helps. Helps with S, right? If we change the subject to I, for example, it would become I occasionally help my mother, right? I change the verb. Um, and here, if we change it to the, to the subject she, for example, we go from you never say the truth to she never says the truth. So keep that in mind, right? The adverbs of frequency go after the subject and remember that we change the verb for the third person, he, he, and it. Also, um, we heard in the video that sometimes is a special adverb because we can use it in different places in the sentence. So we could start a sentence with sometimes, like sometimes I exercise before sleeping. Or we use it as the other adverbs right after the subject. I sometimes exercise before sleeping. Or we could also have a third option to use it at the end of the sentence. I exercise before sleeping sometimes. Ese sería el único que podemos utilizar en distintos lugares. Puede ir al inicio, puede ir después del sujeto y puede ir también al final. Do we have any questions about this? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Este, en la última oración, digamos, yeah. si, si, estuviera, si estuviera en tercera persona, ¿cómo, cómo iría el, el verbo say? You add S. So you say, um, a. Is it another color? So let's change it to she. She never 
says the truth. She never says the truth. Okay, thanks, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Any other questions? Question. Yes? In the case of sometimes, entendí que se puede pasar de, de ese de, después del, del sujeto lo podemos pasar como complemento o algo así eh, sí lo podemos utilizar en distintos en distintos lugares por ejemplo podría ser con la misma oración I sometimes exercise before sleeping lo podemos también decir como sometimes I exercise before sleeping Or we could also say, I exercise before sleeping sometimes. Se puede utilizar de las tres formas. Así como utilizamos los demás después del sujeto, al inicio de la oración o al final. Okay? Okay. All right, any other questions, any other doubts? No more? All right, now it's time to practice. Oh, we also have some other adverbs of frequency. And well, the first one is every day. So apart from these ones we have in the schedule, we have um, some other ones, for example, every day to indicate that we do something, for example, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on. And also we have this option once a day, once a week, or once a month. That is only one time, once. Then we got twice, which means two times. We could say twice a day, twice a week, or twice a month. And we got three times, three times a day, three times a week, or three times a month. And okay, so please repeat every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Once a 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 week. Once a week. Once a month. Once a month. Twice a day. Twice a day. Twice a week. Twice a week. Twice a month. Twice a month. Three times a day. Three times a day. Three times a week. Three times a month. Three times a month. Okay. And well, with this one, we use them at the end of the sentence. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Tom. Uh, what is the meaning of twice a day? Twice will be two well, times. Two times be, yeah. a day. Exactly. Oh, okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. So you can say, for example, I work every day. So you see, um, you use every day at the end of the sentence. And um, we could also say we travel once a year. Once a year, we travel once a year. Um, let's say twice a day. Let's see, tell me an example, please. They twice a day eat pupusas. They eat pupusas twice a day. And another one for three times a day, a week, or a month. Oh, for example, we brush our teeth three times a day. 
So you see, um, we use them at the end of the sentence, right? So all of these adverbs that are in the scale are used right after the subject, but with these four, we make a difference. So we use them at the end of the sentence, okay? Don't get confused with that. Please keep it in mind. Every day, once a day, once a week, once a month, or twice, three times, we use those phrases at the end of the sentence. Any questions? No questions? No more questions. Okay, very good. So now it's time to practice. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes. I want you to make sentences using adverbs of frequency. So let's just think about our own routines. What are some things that you do always? Or what are some things that you usually do? Some things that you normally do? And what are some things you sometimes do? Just think about your routines, right? The things you do every day or maybe um, once a day, once a week or every day or hardly ever. Just think about the frequency with which you do some kind of activity and make sentences. Let me just send a picture of this adverbs of frequency to the WhatsApp group for you to have them. And then you can go to the breakout rooms to work with, um, with your classmates. Let's see, we've got... All right, so there you are. Please accept the invitation to go to the breakout rooms. I'll be visiting you in a month. las vamos a una cada uno y la para que el otro lo vaya copiando también ahí estaba la teacher ahorita yes I'm here do you have any questions eh, entre todos vamos a ir armando las oraciones verdad exactly you can take turns okay, okay. creo que se me fue no. Um, for example, I always drink in the morning. I always. In the morning. Sí. Okay. Uh, I always uh, drink coffee with bread. In the night. At night. Is in the uh, night or at night, teacher? At night. At night. Okay. At night. Yep. Okay. Es, es una, una, okay. I always go to the run early. No te alcanza a escuchar, Edwin, disculpa. Okay, lo voy a, voy a repetir de nuevo. Okay. I always go to the run early. Okay, you say I always go running. Running? Yep, I always go okay. running. Se agrega el ING, teacher. Yes, in that case you need it. Yo pensaba que no era necesario cuando usábamos frequency adverb. Um, well, the thing is that we're talking about running as an activity. Es que en ese caso el running sería la actividad. No estamos hablando de, no es el verbo principal porque estamos usando go. Go running. Entonces el go ah, okay. sería el verbo principal okay. de la oración y el running solo lo mencionamos como una actividad. Pues en frecuencia no se modifica, ¿verdad? No, no, no. It doesn't change. Okay. 
Okay. Please repeat your your sentence. Uh, Edwin, please, please repeat. Ah, okay, okay. I always go to the running early. Uh, eat a breakfast, but I don't have time in the morning, and I go. I go to my work. And my word usually eh, ay, lo siento, me quedé sin la idea, se me fue. Mm -hmm. Well, in my word I Take a computer and and working every day, and and that's it. And you, Anna. Uh... Okay, uh, I usually go to work uh, at 7 a.m. I never ever early. Um, I'll ever die. Uh, Grab, quiero ver, que no lo estoy diciendo mal, pero a ver. Get up. Get up. Uh -huh. Get up es levantarse, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. At. Eh, between. Eh, cinco. Eh, Five alf and six a.m. Uh, you say around media. You say around five thirty five or five thirty. And pardon? You say around five thirty or five and a half or six. Para el horario no utilizamos okay. between, sino que se dice around. Around uh, 5.30 or 6. Around 5.30 five, five of 6. Yes. yes. Um, I... 13. Yesterday... Uh, my birthday. Okay. Got it. Do you have sentences? Uh, I hardly ever wake up early on Monday. Okay. I occasionally uh, watch movie at night. I always have a hard time speaking English. Oh, 
Olha, não, não... Não... Estúdio... Não, não, não. Não está acostumbrado a falar? Não. I understand, but not... Okay, so it's time to finish with the class. Thank you very much for paying attention and for participating. It was nice to meet you all. And I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Take care, have a good night. See you tomorrow, teacher, good night. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you, good night. Good night. Good night, good night group.